Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead. And today, Weston and I are out here continuing the honeydew list. As Houston said, as I taught Houston the other day in that video where I said, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Well, we've got an old well house on our property that's been an eyesore forever. Hasn't had electricity to it in probably 10 or 12 years. The well never really was that great. It would flow maybe 50 gallons and then go dry and you have to let it fill back up. Anyways, mom wants it gone, so it's being torn out and destructed. But Weston was out here working and guess what he found? So muscle man, what'd you find out here? Snake. A snake. Weston found a copperhead. We just killed it about three minutes ago. We're gonna kind of keep our distance because I hadn't cut his head off completely, but that's a copperhead right there. But one of the reasons we're doing a lot of this cleanup around here is to make the place look better, obviously. But these copperheads, we've had two dogs get bit by copperheads so far this year. Um, they just get in all this junk, old stuff like this, under boards or under sheet metal laying on the ground. And I've got a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time. And Weston has agreed he thinks it's a good idea too. So we're fixing to take that copperhead snake right there and skin him and cook him. And we're going to do a catch and cook copperhead snake style. Never done it. Always wanted to try one just to see what it tastes like. So let's go cook a snake. So I hadn't even got started cleaning the first snake yet. And Weston yells at me, says he's found another snake. Quite possibly this well house could be the uh, source of a lot of our copperhead problems. That concrete's hollowed out underneath and uh, probably nice and cool. So I guess if we're gonna cook one copperhead, it might taste good, so we might as well cook two, right Wes? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't get bit? No. No? Look at them muscles. Mm. Aren't you just a fine looking young boy? All right, where's he at? Where's he at? Oh, anybody spotted the snake yet? I'll give you guys a few seconds to look for him. He's hidden in the mess somewhere round about there. My phone is on a tripod, so my camera here. So I'm going to get you guys down and close. There he is. Come on out, little copperhead snake. Ooh, look at him. He ain't happy with us now. Got him dug out of that hole. You're not going anywhere, son. What's the problem? Well, that's just plum weird. So I haven't yet told Houston that we're gonna be doing a catch and cook video today. We are? Yeah. Oh. The only thing is, is me and Weston have already done the kitchen. Now we just got to do the cooking. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? Well, we're not doing a kitchen cook with fish. What are we doing a kitchen cook with? Two copperhead snakes. Hey, you said we're not going to eat snakes. I did? You didn't. I didn't? You said we're not going to. Well, we're going to catch. We're going to. Oh, wait, we've already caught. We're going to clean and cook two snakes out here today. What do you think about that? Mm. Are you willing to eat a snake? Mm -mm. Oh, you got to try it. He's not real sure about it, but he says he'll try it. Look, look behind you. Oh. 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 Two copperhead snakes. Better watch out, Bella. Is it alive? Are they alive? No, they're not alive. Here's the first one Weston found. The second one's not near as big, and uh, Weston kind of cut off half of his body. Watch out, don't get anywhere near his head, okay? Oh, it's moving. Its muscles are still moving a little bit. Just stay away from its head though, okay? Okay. So we've never cooked a snake before. This is gonna be a first for us. So what we're gonna do, I'm not gonna use the whole cooker for my barrel house cooker. I'm just gonna take the top off and I'll put my grill grate directly on the charcoal bed and just use it like a charcoal cooker. We're not gonna smoke it. I don't really wanna wait that long. So we're gonna get these things skinned, cleaned up and ready to go while our charcoal gets hot and then we'll throw them on the grill. And if we don't like them, I guarantee you Bella will, huh, Houston? Yeah. Put some charcoal in there. Some charcoal in the chimney. Okay. Stay up in there. And then you light the paper. 
So we're not gonna do anything fancy. Weston pretty much destroyed about half of this snake as he when he killed it. So we're just gonna, I mean, really not even a don't even need a knife to skin it. If you're gonna be in the video, won't you squat down and get in the video? Bella wants to be in. So the skin's already pretty much coming off. We're just gonna peel it back. Look at that. Just take the skin off like a sock. So that took all of about a minute. Pulled the skin off and the guts came right out. Super easy to do. So we got snake number two. Cut his head off in Houston. What are we supposed to do with the head? Where'd you go, buddy? Come back up here. What are we supposed to do with the head after we cut it off? Bury it. Bury it, that's right. Because even if the snake's dead, if we just cut the head off and laid it out here on the ground, um, Bella or Houston or I could accidentally step on it and uh, there's still venom in those fangs. We don't want to do that. So cut the head off and bury the head. And I'm not saving the skin because obviously these snakes aren't big enough to make like a belt or anything. I guess you can make a hat band if you wanted to, but. All right. Charcoal is trying to get so once more. I get the skin going, I literally just peel it off like a sock and it just peels right down his body. Well, come on down. There it goes. Daddy, want me to put the charcoal in now? Comes off just like a sock. There's the skin, there's the snake. Now we just need to take the internal organs out. So we got both snakes cleaned up. We're just gonna throw them in a little bucket here. Or a bowl, I mean, not a bucket. I've never cooked a snake before, but we're gonna just use some simple recipes like we do with everything else. So I'm gonna take a little zesty Italian dressing, mix in there. And I figure since we're cooking snake, it's gotta be Cajun, right? So we're gonna use a little Tony Satchery's Creole seasoning. Put a little Tony Satchery's in there for just a little bit of spice. And in honor of mom, since she's not here, we're gonna use her Morton seasoning because she cooks this, she puts this on everything she cooks, doesn't she, Weston? Mm-hmm. So, we're just gonna get them nice and coated before they go on the grill. So while Weston's burying the guts and skins back there, the other day when I was talking about one of our dogs got bit by a copperhead, um, some, you know, I had several people say, well, you probably got a den in the area since we have so many. But as you can see behind us, Man, we live in the woods. There's gonna be copperhead snakes. There always is. Every year we have lots of copperheads. We don't have many rattlesnakes, but we do have lots of copperheads. But one thing somebody suggested, or maybe not even suggest, left a comment. I don't even remember who it was at the time, but they said copperheads' favorite food are locusts. Um, and the locusts come up out of the ground. They, they, they're in the ground as a, uh, a larvae. And they come up, they crawl up the trees, and they have a little crusty shell that they come out of, spread their wings and fly off. Well, as I was gutting both of those copperheads, one of them had a fresh eaten locust in its stomach and the other one had two locusts in its stomach. So we've had a lot of locusts. Matter of fact, when we were hauling off junk earlier, Weston and I had picked up an old wooden door that was leaned up against a tree and it had six locust shells on it, is what Weston counted, right? So obviously those copperheads do like the locusts and we've got a bunch of those right now. So I guess that's what's bringing them in. Are you gonna eat this snake? Probably not. What do you think it's going to taste like? Blobby. Blobby. Charcoal's looking good. Let's say we go ahead. Well, my fork won't stab him. Toss us a little snake on the grill. Smells good. Stick you there. Are you sure about this, Houston? Uh, no. No. Are you gonna eat this for real? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not real sure what the folks at the Barrel House Cooker Company are gonna say about us cooking a snake on their grill, but uh, we're gonna try it anyways. It was Weston's idea. If this goes wrong, if this all goes bad and we all get sick and die, I blame it on Weston. He wanted to cook a snake, didn't you? Yeah, so if this is the last time you hear from us, it's not my fault. It's the teenager, the teenager did it. He forced me to do it. I ain't eating the snake. One snake down, two 
two snakes down. And yes, I did flip the cutting board over. That's not the same side that we skinned them on. All right, fellas. Since the girls aren't here, it's just the guys. Who's gonna be the first one to test out the copperhead snake? This is copperhead snake catch and cook. You have to, you have to do the cook and eat part on the copperhead snake. So who's gonna try it first? Not me. Weston says he'll do it. What do you think it's gonna taste like? Chicken. Chicken. Weston says it's gonna taste like chicken. I guess we'll find out. All right, Weston. gonna have a backbone that runs down the middle of it, okay? Mm -hmm. So you kind of eat on either side of the backbone. If I dang dang don't like this, I'm gonna- All right, Weston, let's see it. Video. Give it a try. What's Pretty it taste good. like? Pretty good? I'll try There's it. not a lot of meat on it. Squat down here, I'll give you a bite, Houston. I don't want that much. Mm. Let's see what Houston thinks about it. Not bad. The five-year-old, five-year-old kid eating a copperhead snake. You see that? And he says, hmm, not bad. But iron doesn't taste good. Well, I mean, it kind of does taste good. I mean, I don't want to be cliche, but it kind of tastes like chicken. Yeah. Told you. Real flaky. Pretty good. Might have cooked it just a little bit too long. Not too bad. But I'd rather be safe than sorry with cooking a snake. I wasn't sure. So, definitely a lot of bones. So you kind of have to work around the bones and peel the meat off the bones, but it's actually surprisingly really tasty. If we had a little barbecue sauce, next time, I say next time, you hear that? I just said next time. If we cook a snake again, I'd like to kind of marinate it a little bit in some barbecue sauce, put it in a little bit of tin foil so it doesn't dry out. Cause that's the thing, there's just not a lot of meat on this thing. So it does dry out a little bit, but the flavor is actually really good. I can't believe it. Two boys sitting around here eating a snake. <laughs> Well, folks, there you have it. Believe it or not, both of my boys are sitting back here chewing on a copperhead snake. There's really not a lot of meat on a copperhead. I think if you went out and found a rattlesnake, you know, a four or five foot long rattlesnake that had some girth to it, there'd be a lot of meat on it. Um, and we may have to try that if we can find us a rattlesnake. But I, I can't get over this. They're both just back there gnawing on a snake. It's actually really good. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have you ever eaten a snake? If you have or haven't, leave it down in the comments section below. Let me, let me know what you think. I'm sure we're gonna get some hateful comments over this, and that's okay, because it's YouTube, and I really don't care if you don't agree with us eating a snake. So, we're gonna let Houston in the video, because that's what he likes to do. There you go. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next video. Mm.